Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the design of full adder using free variable k mapper. So we know off adder and full adder in a switching theory and logic design, the most commonly used terms in the addition process, they are off adder and full adder. Off adder has two inputs, full adder has three inputs. Okay, for example, just I am explaining the process of designing a logic circuit for the full adder by using three variable as an example of three variable k map. In the previous video, I have started the k map uh, um, introduction, and later we have seen the three two variable k map and two, uh, three variable k map. Now, uh, as an example of designing a logical circuit using three variable k map, just I have taken the example of full adder because this full adder design is very very important in this subject. Now, uh, why I have taken full adder is full adder has three inputs. It has three inputs. There are two adders, half adder and full adder. Half adder and full adder. Half adder can add two bits of data and full adder will add three bits of data. That means it is having input A comma B and it is having input for full adder. We are having three inputs A, B, C in. C in is the carry input from the the uh, previous addition and here of adder we are having a b as inputs and some carry as outputs some and carry out as the outputs these are inputs these are outputs and in full adder as i said we have three inputs a b as two inputs and the previous input is carry input and outputs are same some and carry out okay now The block diagram of this full adder, we can simply draw full adder with input A, B and it is the carry input from the previous stage. Suppose in the previous edition, if you have any carry left, that will be added to the next edition and produces two outputs, sum and carry, sum and carry. Generally, this carry is represented as C out and this carry is input carry is represented as C in. Okay, now let us see the truth table. Truth table of full adder. So, A, B, C in. A, B, C in are the inputs and some carry out. Okay, carry out is nothing but C out. So, three inputs are 0, 0, 0. So, three inputs, we are, we are having eight combinations 2 power 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And next, we are having 1, double 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. 1 1 so 1 1 and 1 now 0 plus 0 again 0 plus 0 gives 0 0 plus 0 0 some 0 carry 0 again here someone carry 0 someone carry 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 0 carry 1 some 0 when you are adding 2 logic ones in binary addition that gives some zero carry one okay and one zero and here it is again zero one two ones gives one zero again here it is zero one but when you are adding one plus one it is one zero and again one 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 someone carry one okay this is the truth table now what is our aim our aim is to design the logical circuit logic circuit means we know input how to draw the output logic circuit so we need to derive the expression for sum and as well as c out so how to get the uh, expression for some sum i am representing for simplicity yes and carry is representing as c out okay so for sum yes for some yes now we are going to draw the k map and deriving the expression for the sum so as there are three inputs three variable k map we need to consider 
this is A, B, C in 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, gray code representation and it is 0, 1. Now, 0, double 1, 0, 0, double 1, 0, because it is 0th location, first and second, this is third, that's why 0, 1, 1, 0, okay, next, 1, double 0, 1, 1, double 0, 1. Now map, map once, but here in order to map, we don't have any ones that come side by side. Okay, all the in, all the ones are individually present. All these are diagonally present. We cannot map diagonally. That's why we have to map individually. So total how many min terms will come? Total four min terms will come because of this. Because of this, there is no mapping between two successive ones. Now expression for this one sum is equal to the expression for this one. Okay, first I am writing this one. It is a bar b bar c n. A bar b bar c n plus and the expression for this one is a bar b c a. A bar b c n bar plus this one is a b bar c bar a b bar c n bar plus a b c a b c n okay so i can write it as take a bar common from this one from the first two terms i am just manipulating the expression which i have got in the k map so b bar c n plus b c n bar plus if you take a common this is b bar c n bar plus a ah, sorry a we have taken common what we have b c n how can you again reduce this expression a bar this is b bar c in plus b c in bar what is this it is the xr operation between b and c in xr operation between a and b is a bar b plus a b bar so in the similar way these two inputs are having xr operation with b xr c in plus a how can you write this one this is the xnr operation between b and c in b bar a bar b bar plus a b this is nothing but xnr operation xnr operation representation dot in circle okay again this can be further reduced as xr and xnr what is the relation between xr and xnr the relation between xr and xnr is complement okay so that is equal to a bar b xr c in plus a, how can you write this one? B XR C in whole bar. This is XNR operation. XNR complement is nothing but XR. Similarly, XR complement is nothing but XNR. Both are complement to each other. See this A bar B plus A B bar. It is in the format of A bar B plus A B bar. Again, it is an XR operation between these two. This is the some expression for the full adder okay that means we are having one xr operation with three inputs it is nothing but one xr operation with three inputs isn't it now for carry for carry out c out so take three variable k map A, B, C, N, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, now, triple 0, 1, 0, triple 1. Triple 0, 1, 0, triple 1. Okay, how can you map this one? 
so here we have a one we have a one so we can map these two ones again this one this one we can map okay as this one left alone again we can map these two so total totally three min terms will come so totally three min terms will come so the min term for this one is okay i'm writing here only the min term for this one is a and common between these two c in a c in plus this vertical one b c in plus a and here it is b this is the expression for c out carry so a c plus b c plus a b this is the expression for the carry okay that means we must have three and the gates and one three input or gate so that is equal to the logic diagram is logic diagram for full adder which we have got the expression using k map pre variable k map so xr with three inputs a b c n this is sum and we are having three and gates with three input or operation c out this is a b b c n a c n okay so just we can draw the lines from this one okay i am showing again no problem you can draw the lines from the already existing inputs here okay so in order to show you in a clear way i am taking separate inputs actually separate inputs are not at all required okay you can draw vertical lines from these a b c n otherwise you can draw here a b c and the lines can be joined together so this is the way of representing a logic diagram using k map so the purpose of k map is to design any logical expression in a minimal format okay in this example we have discussed how a logic diagram for the full adder can be represented using the expressions expressions are calculated based upon the k maps okay thank you